Securing the external doors of your home is an important step in your layers of security. Having an expandable gate over the door allows you to let fresh air in and keep the unwanted visitors outside. These expandable gates and expanders stack neatly to the side, giving you unobstructed access through the door. They're also great for glass sliding doors. With a few basic tools and an extra set of hands, the installation is not difficult. Let me show you how. Now today I'm going to show you how to install this 2.5 meter expandable gate. It comes in a kit which includes a top and bottom guide track, the expandable gate, lock set and all the required hardware. The kit also includes a 10 millimeter pipe spanner which is needed for the installation. Now what you will need is a drill with a hammer function, a 6 and 8 millimeter masonry drill bit, a hacksaw or a jigsaw with a metal cutting blade, a Phillips screwdriver, a spirit level, metal file, set square, hammer, safety gloves and glasses, a tape measure and a pencil. So the first step is to measure the height of our door opening on the left, right as well as in the middle. Fill these measurements in the calculation table supplied with the instruction manual and follow the instructions to calculate the total. So here we can see we need to cut 140 millimeters off the bottom of the gate. So pull out the bottom plastic guides and using a square mark how much we need to trim off the bottom, double checking our measurements. Then using the hacksaw, make your cuts. You will find that the jigsaw makes quick work of this. Now I'm going to quickly clean up the burrs on the cut ends using the metal file before replacing the plastic guides into place. Next is to measure the width of the opening, top and bottom. That's 3.5 meters. We don't need to cut the top and bottom track, but if you did, just use the hacksaw or a jigsaw. Now this is when you need an extra set of hands. While holding the top track in place and ensuring you have a minimum 50 millimeter gap between the gate and the door, mark through the pre-drilled holes and drill with the eight millimeter masonry bit. If you have a vacuum cleaner, it makes cleaning up much easier. Insert the eight millimeter wall plugs into the holes. Now at this stage, we're not ready to drill the bottom rail. We'll get to those later. We can now slide the gate onto both the top and bottom rails and maneuver the entire gate and track into the opening. As you can see, the gate hangs from the top track while the bottom track is merely a slotted guide. The lattice can face either inward or outward and will be determined if you want the gate to open from the left or the right. Now once in place, secure the top rail using the supplied 8mm coach bolts and fasten with the supplied 10mm pipe spanner. Slide the gate to the opposite side to reveal the remaining holes and fasten the remaining bolts. Now with the gate fully open and pushed to one side, use a spirit level to make sure the gate is hanging vertically before marking the exposed pre-drilled holes. Now tilt the gate gently to move the rail and expose the markings and using a 6mm masonry bit, drill the required holes and insert the 6mm wall plugs. Slide the gate and track back into place and then with the supplied 6mm screws, fasten the bottom track with the Phillips screwdriver. Looking good, now we need to attach the sides of the gate. To fasten the sides, mark the pre-drilled holes on the non-locking side. Drill with the 8mm masonry bit, insert the supplied 8mm wall plug and fix the non-locking side to the reveal with the 8mm coach bolts. Use the clip-in plastic caps to hide the bolt heads. Next is to insert the barrel lock and turn the key to release the locking post and attach this to the wall as we did on the non-locking side. You can then secure the lock into place and attach the handles. Now, as you've seen, with everything supplied in the kit and a few basic tools, the installation wasn't that difficult. It gives me peace of mind that this door is now secure. Now, remember, everything we've used is available at Builders, in-store or online at builders.co.za. For more videos like this, check out the blog on the website. Get to Builders, get it done.